Thank you for joining us for another edition of the Florida Chamber's Bottom Line. My name is Frank Walker. I'm Vice President of Governmental Affairs here at the Florida Chamber of Commerce. And this week I have with me Representative Paul Renner. Representative Renner, thank you for joining us. Frank, great to be with you. So this has been a busy week here in the Florida House of Representatives. Your chamber passed a bill that creates a welcoming regulatory environment for transportation innovation networks like Uber and Lyft. You also passed a bill that creates sensible statewide rules for hydraulic fracturing. And the House Finance and Tax Committee unveiled a $1 billion targeted tax cut package. How will these targeted tax reforms help Florida remain more competitive? Well, I think it keeps us on the path of uh, pro-growth path, so that we're creating jobs. And I think if you look back at how states responded when the economy uh, collapsed back in 2007, 2008, Florida tightened its belt. We didn't go out and raise taxes. And the, re the result of that is now that the economy's come back, we've bounced back faster. And so you see job growth ahead of the nation. And we've taken a, taken a, a pro-growth path for the last 10 years, and it's, it's uh, reaping benefits now. Representative Renner, you were elected late last year during a special election, and the Florida Chamber of Commerce was proud to enjoy your pro, endorse your pro-jobs and pro-business uh, agenda. What did this endorsement mean for your campaign? Well, listen, I think what's great about the Chamber is we often in Tallahassee get caught up in the expediency of today, and the Chamber is always forward-looking. You have the six pillars, and you're looking ahead 5, 10, 20 years out, whether it's water policy or our infrastructure. And I think that's what's really important about the Chamber's role, in, in, in certainly in electing pro-growth, uh, pro-business candidates. And so it was great to have your endorsement, and uh, hope, hope I will earn it as we go forward. Absolutely. Well, next week will be the fourth week of the 2016 legislative session. And as the process keeps moving along, what would you say you're most looking forward to accomplishing in the remaining weeks? Again, I think, you know, we, we have a balanced budget requirement here. It's continuing to give back to uh, businesses and taxpayers the surplus that we're seeing by, by making good choices in the past. And by doing so, we'll keep that economic engine running and we'll continue to have, uh, with greater economic activity, more surpluses hopefully in the future where we can uh, provide some targeted tax relief and continue to uh, work on our infrastructure and those other things that we've talked about. Well, great. Well, Representative Renner, thank you for joining us here today. And to our guests, thank you for watching another edition of the Florida Chamber's Bottom Line.